Hello, hello and welcome to my channel. Today is going to be about uh, using thoughts as an object of meditation and I consider this is a very interesting one because our life is actually dominated by our process of thinking and if we don't become aware of, of the thoughts that we are constantly having in our heads is when life begins to kind of resemblance a dream in which you are not really under control of what's happening you're just being drifted away of whatever happens but you don't control what what is happening so um it's like you can be mindful of what is happening and um, but that doesn't imply that you know that you're being mindful of what is happening. So it's like adding that extra layer of being aware that you are aware. For me, it's a bit like um, the difference between a, a dream and a lucid dream. Uh, given that past week I did this uh, video talking a bit about lucid dreams, um, I think it's a, a good a good point to to add in here so it's like that difference between a dream and a lucid dream but both not just when we are dreaming but when we are in in our day-to-day -day life and so it's like the difference between being mindful and being awakened so you have to take into account as well that thoughts are a very subtle thing and it's not like the sensations the physical ses sensations that you may have in your body or when you hear a noise those cause quite an impact into your brain so it's, it's much easier to be aware that that is coming through but uh, with the thoughts they are kind of in the background and many times when a thought arises you you don't even notice it it's just there and it drifts you away so um becoming a, a, aware of the thoughts as they arise give us as well the opportunity to have that insight of their impersonal nature will help us to move away of the identification with the thought process because that identification with the thought process is what feeds this illusion of the self like the one that is thinking uh, it's like we are the one that we are thinking but separating ourselves from from the process and being aware of the process itself it, it gives us that insight um, so using the thoughts as an object of meditation is being aware as they arise be aware that the mind is thinking but not judging uh, not uh, analyzing why this happened why why this thought appear or this thought is bad this is good no it's just being aware that you're thinking that the process of thought is of, of thinking is happening so that way is kind of puts that perspective of not is not us who who are thinking is the mind having its own process is the thought thinking itself it's like the thoughts is the actually the thinker it's not like something thinking the thought is the thought thinking itself so when you become aware of of your thoughts you will kind of see as well a difference between two two major uh, let's say two major types of, of thoughts uh, which are those that arises and pass away simply quickly 
and those uh, that um, that are quite recurrent and keep happening and those that drift us away so um, that's interesting uh, because obviously give us that opportunity to see what is constantly uh, driving our our lives our patterns so when when using thoughts as a uh, an object it's interesting to label them and you can begin with easy labeling as in just thinking label label them as thinking uh, you may be breathing and you realize you're thinking you know it's thinking so a simple note and a bit farther you can go a bit farther by um, uh, categorizing them and putting them labels such as judging remembering planning or whichever that works uh, for you and um, it's also interesting to to be aware of oops <laughs> to be aware of in in which moment uh, you become actually aware that you are thinking is as soon as the thought is arising is in the middle is once all the thought has happened and it's just like just be aware of what's happening when it's happening and uh, at uh, around these all of these uh, uh, there's an excerpt uh, very interesting from Suzuki Roshi uh, which I actually got from Joseph Goldstein uh, I will put some references on on the description later um, but this one is very interesting uh, and is from the book Send Mind Beginner's Mind and reads like this when you're practicing Sazen meditation, do not try to stop your thinking. Let it stop by itself. If something comes into your mind, let it come and let it go out. It will not stay long. When you, st when you try to stop your thinking, it means you are bothered by it. Do not be bothered by anything. It appears that the something comes from outside your mind, but actually it's only the waves of your mind. And if you are not bothered by the waves, gradually they will become calmer and calmer. Many sensations come, many thoughts or images arise, but they are just waves from your own mind. Nothing comes outside your mind. Nothing comes from outside your mind. If you leave your mind as it is, it will become calm. This is called big mind. So, let's say, be one with the moment. Let, let things happen as they do. It's a matter of not having expectations. Do not have the reactions or judgment or cling into whatever that is happening. Let it come and let it go. So observe the waves as they appear and di disappear, right? Focus on the object, but with a calm mind. That's kind of uh, my lecture of what Suzuki Ro Roshi is, is saying, right? Um, and um, I'm not sure if continuing on the on the well i think it's interesting but i i'm not gonna actually deep dive on this um the one of the things that i don't fully see myself and that's why i'm not gonna deep dive on this is around um knowing that you're knowing focusing on that as an object as well which would be kind of the progress of using thought as a meditation and um, is is focus on the consciousness uh, uh, on the knowing 
which arises at the same time of the object. So in this case, it will be the, the thought of the sensation, right? So what uh, Joseph Goldstein is saying around this is do not try to find where the conscious lies or where this knowing is coming from. Just notice the process of knowing is happening. So um, this, and this is what I'm not really sure what to think, but um, what Joseph Goldstein says is that this is also help you, this will also help you to break those chains of the identification, in this case with the observer. So for him the observation happens without an observer and it's like witnessing without a, wit a, a witness <laughs> uh, witnessing without a witness and um, so yeah uh, I guess that I have to explore that a bit more I find it very interesting not sure I share this last bit yet um, in a way I do I mean I understand that um, if you get identified with the observer it's also uh, going to you are going to categorize the observer as the self and we can keep saying right that the self it doesn't really exist so yeah okay i share this that he's saying but uh, i'm not sure yet how to translate this into my mind uh, maybe you have um, a good thought uh, around this and if so please do let me know in in the comments it will be very interesting to see um, so a lot of these ideas uh, have come from uh, the experience of insight by Joseph Golsing. He also has a very, very interesting podcast around using thought uh, as an object of meditation. I will leave the link down in the description. And um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel and press the bell so you get the notifications uh, with my new videos. And yep, yeah, hope you enjoy it and make uh, something out of it. And have a lovely day. Take care and stay safe. Bye.